Here's a common compound interest application problem where we have to figure out how long it will take money to grow. And specifically in this case, how long it will take our money to quadruple at 6.54% compounded monthly. We can think of it this way. If we started today or now with $1, at some point in the future, we want to have $4. We want to quadruple our money. And we want to know how long will that take given our interest rate and our compounding frequency. So our dollar would be considered our present value, and the four dollars will be considered the future value. And in compound interest, we know the relationship between present value and future value is given by the formula future value is equal to present value times 1 plus i to the n where i is the periodic interest rate and n is the number of compounds. We have values for present value and for future value, so let's work out i and n. We're given the nominal interest rate, so i would be the nominal interest rate, which we'll write as a decimal, 0 0.0654, divided by the compounding frequency. So it's monthly, so divide by 12 which when we divide it out would equal decimal 0, 0, 0,00545. N would equal the number of years it takes, and I'll use the variable M here, uh, times the compounding frequency, so times 12, which we can write as 12 times M, like so. Okay, let's substitute all these values into our equation. So future value is 4, present value is 1. 1 plus i, which is 0 0.00545, to the 12m. So we have an equation here with just one variable, which we can then solve. So using bed mass, we start in the brackets. We add these two numbers together. So 4 equals 1 times 1.00545 to the 12m. Now we can do some cleanup here. 1 times anything is just going to be that value, so we can get rid of that. Or if you want, you can divide both sides by 1, and we'd end up with 4 equals 1.00545 to the 12m. Now, our variable m is part of the exponent, so we want to isolate that. How do we do that? Well, we do the opposite operation, and the opposite operation of taking an exponent of something is taking the logarithm of something. In financial mathematics, we mostly use the natural logarithm. So we'll take the natural logarithm of both sides. So ln of 4 is going to equal the ln of 1.00545 to the 12m. There is a general rule that says if you have ln of y to the x, that is equivalent to x times the ln of y. Using that rule, we could write the right side as this. 12m times the natural logarithm of 1.00545. Our left side stays the same. Now we have our variable in a more familiar place and we can isolate it by dividing both sides by ln 1.00545. On the right side, these values would cancel out. And on the left side, we'll use our calculator to work this out. In fact, what you want to do is take the ln of 1.00545 first, put that into memory, then take the ln of 4 and divide by recall memory. And when we do, we end up with 255.0584571 equals 12m. Finally, we divide both sides by 12 to get m. Again, the 12s will cancel. We would end up with m equal to 21.2548743. So what this is saying is it takes 21 and a bit years for our money to quadruple. But we want to know the exact time it takes to quadruple. We can figure that out by splitting this value. So m 
would equal 21 years plus 0.25487143 years. And since there are 12 months in a year, we can multiply this by 12 months in one year. The years cancel, and therefore we're left with 3.0584571 months. Again, we can split that into three months plus 0.05 and change months. And we know there's approximately 30 days in one month. Again, the months cancel, and when we multiply that out, we end up with 1.75, etc., days. Now, we don't go any f uh, lower than days. And you might be wondering, why did I choose 30 days instead of 31? Well, if you think about it, it really wouldn't make a difference here. 31 times this number would give us a number pretty close to 1.75 as well. And the convention for a lot of calculations is to take 30 days for a month in financial mathematics. And we want to make sure we reach our goal of quadrupling our money, so we always take our day value and round up. So this becomes two days. So the exact time it will take for our money to quadruple will be 21 years, 3 months, and 2 days. And there you go. Thanks for watching.